finished reading Catherine House last night. It was really good. So good. Um, this was recommended by S. Elizabeth, who is Ghoul Next Door. She just released her own book called The Art of Darkness. And um, she, she recommended this in one of her newsletters, saying it was like the perfect dark academia, gothic novel. And she was totally right. It's fantastic. I read it really slowly, but it kind of lended itself to that. Um, because you get that sort of slow, creepy feeling of something's not quite right. And it just, it was really good. Highly, highly recommend. So week one of Dark October Stitching Down, I took this out of the Q-Snap so I could take a photo of it. And really pleased how it's coming along. I think I should be able to get this finished before Dark 13 Stitching. I love it. I was looking on uh, the internet last night looking for uh, oval frames because I think that's what I want to frame it in. Really happy. Catherine House, I decided to pick up The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. This is one of my favorite books ever. I read this, I want to say back in 2006, and it has stuck with me since then. But I had intended to read it last year when I was doing my spooky reads, but never quite got to it. So it seemed imperative to be able to read it this year. It's a book with a map, which is one of my favorite things. And I know, of course, that books with maps are the best books.
when I originally read this book, I remember that I had to stop reading it at night before I went to bed because my imagination would run away with me. And um, it's one of those perfectly gothic novels in that sense. It definitely has a dark academia vibe as well, which is what I'm all in for these days. But yeah, I had to um, only read it during daylight hours. shadows. So I thought I'd take a minute and give you my thoughts on something. So I watched the first episode of Interview with a Vampire, which if you're not aware, they have made into a series on AMC and AMC Plus. And the Anne Rice's books are some of my favorite, favorite books ever, both the Vampire Chronicles and the Mayfair Witches, as well as some of her standalone series, um, <clears throat> standalone books, I should say. So I was really hesitant to watch <laughs> because I was so afraid it was going to be bad, but it wasn't. There's definitely some departures from the books. Um, a few of them that I was initially questioning from the trailers are explained. And I think it was done really well. And the reason that, like a friend of mine said, like the vibe is correct, which is so true. But I think for me, what specifically it is, is that it has Anne's voice. Like the way that her writing is, you know, the way that she writes and the details and the sort of atmospheric quality and the way that she writes conversations and her characters, it has her voice. And so I think that for anyone that has read the books, I think they will pick up on that and appreciate that. So if you, like me, have been hesitant to watch them, and I've only seen the first one so far, but I have the second one recorded, but I highly recommend. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I really... I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.
here is the current state of my moth. I have finished the bottom wing and finished that top right hand wing. I got that done last night. And I have the tiniest little start of the bottom right hand wing. So it's coming together. I think I should be able to finish this tonight, which is perfect because tomorrow is dark 13 stitching and I'm really wanting to be able to move on to something else. I think I might move on to moon sick. We'll see. Um, but part of the reason I want to move on to it is because I think I can finish it too. So that's the plan. Um, I stitched with a good friend last night virtually um, who I haven't had the opportunity to talk to in a little bit. Um, we used to stitch regularly on Tuesday nights, so it was really nice to be able to catch up. And um, tonight um, I am visiting with, um, with a different stitching friend, so really looking forward to that. So hopefully the next time you see this, it will be done. Hey guys, so I think it's Wednesday night. I'm so tired, <laughs> so tired. I have spent all day thinking it was Thursday. I was sorely disappointed when I found out that it is Wednesday. But I'm sitting here because I was just chatting with a friend and I was working on my moth that I showed you. And um, I just thought I'd take a minute and chat. So tomorrow is the 13th. So it's dark October stitching, dark 13 stitching during dark October stitching. And signups open for the Dark October Seance, which I'm very excited about. So last year, I think we, you know, were, we had our limit on signups in a couple hours, in a few hours, I think. I don't remember exactly, but um, I'm really excited to see who signs up and who's going to join us. Um, But I've like, my cat's snoring, but I've set, I set myself an alarm so that I can go flush the cash on the website because I did not do it last year and it was a problem. So I've set myself an alarm so I can flush the cash on the website, but I'm afraid that with everything that's going on with work, I'm going to totally forget about it. So I set the alarm. So it's just been a week already and it is just Wednesday, which is why I was convinced that it was Thursday, but it is not. So last night we went and had tacos for Taco Tuesday, which was delicious and lovely. Um, and then I got to visit with a friend last night and I got to visit with a friend tonight, which feels just like super lovely and a little bit decadent. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. And um, yesterday this arrived, this is my birthday present and it's a Luna moth and I'm so absolutely thrilled with it. It's so beautiful. And it has the phases of the moon on it, um, in its wings. And then it has a full moon right on its body. And then right here where the wings come together. 
is the new moon, which is basically like a void. Um, I just love it. I've wanted this piece for so long. And so when I had the opportunity to get it for my birthday, I got it for my birthday. And it takes about five, five six weeks um, because the pieces are all made to order. And so it arrived yesterday. And it came right as we were on our way out to dinner. And so I did not get to open the box until I got home. I was like, oh, I need to open the box. So very, very thrilled, so happy. So that's what's going on. I've been barely reading. I'm trying to keep up with my night in the lonesome of October, but that's literally only like two pages a day. And I'm trying to read in the historian and it's really good, but it is just slow going because I'm just so tired. And today I had to interview people for um, a new position that we have open, which was a little outside of my comfort zone. So, just crazy, crazy, crazy. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it. So, dark 13 stitching tomorrow. As I mentioned, I think I might work on moon sick because I think I might be able to finish it. So that may be my plan. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to try to do is just finish it. Um, and then we'll see what happens after that. But I think for dark 13 stitching tomorrow, that's what I'm going to pick up. And my plan is to get my moth done tonight. And I'm working on this bottom wing. So, moths everywhere. I had my planchette moth on too yesterday um, and it hangs right about here. So I got this one longer so that I can wear them together. But since I was interviewing today, I tried to tone it down a little bit. So, yeah, that's all I got. I think I'm gonna go sit on the couch for a little bit, work on my stitching, maybe watch something. We'll see. So. <laughs> my Cecropia moth last night and then this morning I was taking photos of it and decided that yeah I really did want to change the thread that I had used for the antenna it was just way too warm of a gray against my fabric and I just wasn't happy with it so this morning I picked all of that out and then I replaced it with this old willow stitchery medallion black and I'm much happier with it. Much happier with it. So it's finished now. Very, very pleased. And just in time for dark 13 stitching. So for dark 13 stitching, let me show you what I'm going to work on. 
Okay, so for dark 13 stitching, I am going to work on Moonsick by Primitive Needle. This is my piece that I started as part of the Full Moon Cell, and um, I'm working on this bottom third. And so it's basically the words, there's a lady, well, let me just show you. Words, lady, some symbols, and then there's that moon phases um, border at the bottom. So I think I can finish this. So I'm gonna start working on it tonight for dark 13 stitching and then just keep going till it's done. And I'm stitching this on 40 count Duxbury from Fox and Rabbit. And it calls for silk and color silks. And I just did my own silk conversion with what I had on hand. Some of them are silks from Black and Sky, so. things I wanted to work on for Dark October is the last of the Sabbath pieces from Primitive Hair. And I love the key. I love the simple color palette. It's basically just DMC 310 and Gentle Arts Maple Syrup. I don't love the pumpkin. So I've been racking my brain trying to decide what I wanted to replace the pumpkin with or jack-o-lantern I suppose as the case may be and so this is what I came up with I basically took um, the crow from her full moon sow um, full moon club whatever that thing is <laughs> um, for the crow moon and I just replaced the pumpkin with it. So, and then I added some little extra doodads. That's pretty much it. So, this is now ready to go. I just have to decide on fabric and then I can get this one started. <laughs> 